ピーポーピーポーピーポーピーポーケーパーサーサーパーセーワーデード Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the meds. Now, people often say that why it seems as if I just peer criminal all over Jamaica, most of the people are criminal. However, people, the truth and the fact is that maybe 90% of everything that is committed in Jamaica are repeat offenders. Are people that have a criminal history. Are people that go through the system. However, for some reason or the other, the system was not able to keep them, or the system just messed up, pretty much dropped the ball. Now, the other day, there was a news that was popping on social media with the takeaway of one Rudolf Shaw, OC boxer. Spanish town crime producer, gang leader. He was taken out at a guest house on Mullines Road, along with an ex man and a lady. She was charged by the pauper. She was the lone sole survivor. Off when Seatak run out the place, blaze out the place, after the smoke clear, as she alone a breed. Everybody else breath gone. The next person that was held. His name is Oshin. Oshin Burchell. That is his government name. He was 29 at the time he met his demise. However, like them say, the good die young. However, the bad die younger. The bad die bad. This man was charged before with the takeaway. Of at least one person and also shooting with intent, illegal firearm. So, therefore, he was not an innocent bystander. He was not a taxi or cabby for hire. He was not a chaperone. He was also doing the do. He was doing the dirt. So, therefore, c t a c and them dirt him along with Mr. Shaw. Luckily for us. Now, people, do you realize that these f o l l o w b a c k e r men in Jamaica, these known thugs, is as if them love to group up. Not only them are two foot posts and a y e n a them love pack because they find safety in numbers and people. Do you know why this is? Because them feel as if. If they are out on the lonely gangster street, they might lose their life. So, people, what may I try to say? It seems as if these criminal minded youths don't check the history book, t h e m not read the notice board, and s i s t e r The same people them that you are around, more than likely, the possibility or probabilities are these are the same persons that are going to get me. Unless c t a c unless special ops get me. So, therefore, the chances of me surviving, whether by friendly fire or the opposition, becomes minimal. So, therefore, damn if I do, damn if I don't. However, because them like group up, them like man company, it seems as if they would jeopardize their life for their friends. Their loyalty runs so deep. Or maybe them just scared to tell the man, say, listen, you're at right now, you know, stay with the party there, make me stay with me there. No, people, they are going to answer the call and they are going to book hotel for these people. They are going to put up these people. t h e m pretty much harboring a fugitive and people. We see what happens when you harbor a fugitive. So, people, the moral of the story, whenever C t a c Goes for any sorts of high profile fugitive. Usually, everything around them, D E A D, it is called Chernobyl. Nothing can stay alive. Point blank and period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called If t h e m can catch Quarko, t h e m are going to catch him shut. And even when t h e m catch Quarko, t h e m are going to either 
dirt him shut or dirty up him shut. And people, what am I speaking about? I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Moko Clarendon the other day. Wherein two brothers were caught up. Out of those two brothers, one of them did not make it. He was not so fortunate. His name is David Dyer. David Dyer is about 39 year old. Based on what friends are saying, he is a welder by trade. However, people, things did not turn out too well for Mr. David Dyer. Because it is said that him and some other people, including his brother, unidentified right now, were at a spot chilling when some people roll up blaze up the place mr david dyer try for run however he could not outrun the toll and even was a speeding bullet he was hit in the head along with his brother his brother was caught up in a boat hands and also in the leg or in a boat leg and the right hand sorry same difference now, people, based upon what the poor poor say, Mr. David Dyer, he is or was the intended target. He is a known crime producer. Call him Shabby Shubout Shabdan. A known crime producer in the area. Clarendon, Maypen, Manchester. The adjoining communities. However, people, it seems as if this is no story of any sort of Siamese twin. Pretty much they are separated. Separated by D-E-A-T-H. Moral of the story is this. Whenever you have any sorts of boyfriend, girlfriend that are involved in any sorts of criminal activity, that are known crime producer, Remember, this man, just for some details, it is said that he was going to court for at least three separate incidents of shooting with intent. Now, people, whenever you have intention for kind of people and people, I am not trying to promote any sorts of D-E-A-T-H, but me just I say, the opposition is very ultra-sensitive. Them getting at them feelings. Whenever you can them up and make them live, especially when you do it once, twice, three times a lady, they are going to make sure say, them lay you down flat upon the ground and people, that is the case. Now people, like I said, the moral or the title is if them can't catch Quark or them catch him shut. Remember, the other brother was there also. Them run down David Dyer. And him gun him down. However, the brother got what we call learn your lesson, con up. So therefore, them con him up na the left foot, con him up na the right foot, con him up in a one of the hand them whether the left or the right, it does not matter. They were sending a message. Listen, you see how your brother hack up. You saw your brother get fix up. Fix up your life or else. You are going to mix up your life in a blender. And people, you know what happens when anything goes in a blender. It is gone to smithereen. Pieces. Adios and goodbye. Point blank and period. Now people, the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called politics slash politics. Anything called politics ain't S-H-I-T. Now, people, the other day in a place called Clifton in a St. Catherine, we saw that the military team, JCF, JDF, along with the city, they went to the people's residence and out of those 30 houses that was there, at least 10 of them was bulldozed. Some of them even the foundation removed. So therefore, they were making a statement. Since then, we see the Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, come out and him go down there, him hug up the people, him, and I say, sorry, 
Sorry for bulldoze on a house. However, we have a master plan. Stick with the JLP for future success. We have the key and the lock to the city that was demolished. People, first thing first, Andrew Holness claims uh, the reason why they did it is that the mob was down there, gangsters was down there, leasing land that belonged to the state, the city, Jamaica upon a whole, the government. However, people, we would soon learn that those are sykes, no evidence to substantiate those claims were ever proven. So therefore, politics in play, he remember that, listen, don't look at the smaller picture, these acres of land. Look at the bigger picture. So therefore, this is not good for our PR image. We need to do some sorts of damage control. However, people, we know that in Jamaica, you have the PNP and you have the JLP. Now the PNP, Mark Golden, they went to the era and they are trying to politicize the whole thing. They are saying, wow, what a very despicable act by our government or your government, uh, Andrew Holness. How could he do this to the poor people of Jamaica? This man must be the second coming of the devil. We would never do that, people, like I've always said. Two party, the same sad song, each and every one of them are always playing. So therefore, when them get for them chance, they do absolutely the same thing. Now people, the PNP are now saying, based on the actions of the JLP, this needs a resolution and we, the PNP, are the problem solvers. What we're going to do we're going to get these people legal representation. We're going to take it to court. We're going to sue you. We're going to offer you the services of a legal mind in Isaac Buchanan. And all your problems will go away. However, people, here are the facts. Yes, the JLP might do some damage control. And yes, they might give these people a little plot of land. However, the damage is so bad. The damage has already been done. So therefore, when you put a band-aid upon a gaping or gashing wound, it is not going to fix anything. So people, like me say, it is called promises, promises, promises. And you know exactly what they say. A promise is a comfort to a fool. And people with sister for the last five or so decades. Anybody that has been voting for these people is a set of buffoons. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, like me said, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate news that is straight to the point, no beating around the bush. Just show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded persons like yourself and people very importantly. Whenever you see people throwing darts at you, it is because they see your greatness. It is because they realize that their ceiling is pretty much in the cellar, in the abyss of hell. However, when they look at you in which they would like to be, them say greatness, they see that your ceiling is in the stratosphere. And people, to bring you down, for them to look good, they defame your character. So therefore, them have to make you look bad. That is the only way that they can look good. Point blank and period.